We are moving on to a very, very cool segment. It is our friend Jose Sanchez. Don Fubar, the humble king of the world, is here. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm great. Listen, I've been uh, addicted as hell to dead cells the last little while. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That old thing? <laughs> <laughs> was that 2017 game? Well, yeah. yeah. I, I, what, what I know about Dead Cells is that you've been playing it since it dropped. You found, yeah, you found it in last er June. You found it in early access, and yep. did someone tip you off to it, or did you just discover it on Steam? Uh, you know, I saw my buddy Zeke streaming it, yep. and it just it had that style look that I was like, all right, I can get into this. And then I saw just just from the screenshot, I looked at it, and I was like, I'm into that pixely stuff. You know, I like me some Axiom Verge. Uh, so I thought it was going to be something similar to that, and then I, I watched him play it, and I was like, ah, right, it's kind of got a vibe that I can I can attach myself to. And then I, I downloaded it, like, instantly, and it was just like, oh, yeah, Spelunky, I'm sorry. Until <laughs> Spelunky 2 comes out, this is this is the new, the new, new. How much have you streamed this game? Like, how many hours do you think you've streamed this already? Oh, my God, man. Well, I, I checked my Steam account. I have 296 hours. Holy crap. Of so I've I've streamed well over 150 hours. Okay, so, so let's get this out of the way. What would you score Dead Cells? Hey, it's a 10. Yeah, it's a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I mean I've played 296 hours of this game, not counting like the 10 plus hours I already have on the Switch version already. Yeah, um, but I was saying that from like a month into playing this game, like this is going to be the perfect game for the Switch. It really is. I can take it with me on the go. The game sessions can be long if you're good enough, but they can be short and quick. And you still get value out of the short gameplay sessions when you're, you know, boosting up stats or you're, you're unlocking more weapons. It's, there's just so much to do. I'm still unlocking. I mean, the good thing about now that it's finally released is that I had to start from scratch. Yeah. So it's, it's all new. And there's, they added some new things from the early access stuff. There's, some story bits in there that they've added on that I have no idea what is happening. Yeah. Because I've been playing this game for over. I'm like, what the hell is this statue of this king? Why is he wearing this mask? <laughs> so how do but you, it's like, oh, how, it's all new. How, how do you describe it to people other than that you were obsessed with uh, Spelunky and now you're obsessed with Dead Cells? How do you tell yeah. people what this game is about? I mean, it's such a, I just, I tell people, if you like that experience of playing a game that you can get familiar with, but it's always different every time you play it. Yeah. This is that, that gameplay you know it's those procedurally generated like procedurally generated games can be done amazingly bad yeah but they can also be done fantastically perfect and this game i feel like it's just it delivers so much content with so many weapons i mean there's weapons that i wouldn't use at first because i was like ah i'm not really I'm not, like i don't i don't use shields i'm anti-shield me too me too yeah i just i'm like no i want two weapons at my disposal i want to use them but some weapons, I'm like, ah, I don't really like that one. And then I start using it, and I'm like, damn, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, I'll give that one a try. Yeah. And then I just becomes part of the mainstay of weapons that I look for when I'm playing games. So in this game, you play this guy that constantly dies, and you try to... It's a little like Dark Souls, right? I think that's the idea here. You're collecting souls, and you spend... Cells, cells collecting cells. Or cells. It, I, I keep going back and forth. Uh, but you collect the cells. Are you sure they're cells and they're not souls? Yeah? I'm pretty or, sure they're cells. I guess if you've sure. played 300 hours. Oh, dead cells. Okay. Dead <laughs> okay. Dead cells. Dead cells. Okay. Well, you collect the cells, and uh, and then you spend that as your currency to sort of give you upgrades. And some of the upgrades will last for the session. Some of them will last forever. Like you can yeah. unlock the ability to start the game with a random bow uh, in sure. your hand, or or uh, you'll get a little extra. Uh, you'll get two hits on the uh, life juice that you get. Yeah. You know. Uh, gotta have that juice. And you, gotta have that sipping on the life juice. You gotta have the you gotta life have juice. Plenty of juice. Yeah, you do. And and uh, at first, like the the sort of early level is just, is pretty much just training you every time you play it. it. It like every time it's that easy one until you get into the chamber, and then you can buy spend some of those cells. You're just yeah. kind of learning the ropes again, and you're getting your feel for everything. And wow. and then it just kicks into overdrive, and everybody that hits you takes huge. And you see when your health goes down. It's not like, bam! It erases. You see, you're an yeah. idiot. You're. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> it gives you that. You're dumb. You can get some back, but you're pretty stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you should, you should have dodged that. You should, you're dumb. You're pretty stupid. So I, I am obsessed with this game now. I played it on the flight to Montreal. I played it in my room. I played it whenever I've had a break. I was at the uh, P and E yesterday with my family here in Vancouver. I was playing it while I was waiting for them in line. And, Pancake and eggs. Yeah, and I, so it's like always. It's it is. It's like the perfect partner, and I feel like such a goof because like the week before 
this came out, I, I put out a video, the top 10 2D games that you can pick up for the Nintendo Switch. And then the next week, this is the best 2D game you can pick up for the Nintendo Switch. It's right here. This is it. And it's incredible. It's like this thing I've been saying for a year. <laughs> Finally, people are li- like, you know that feeling when you've been like preaching something for just so like, I, you know, every, every you know, my, my Instagram daily posts, I'm just like, ah, streaming for it. I'm like, I'm going to play some more Dead Cells, play some more Dead Cells. I go to play something else. I end up playing Dead Cells. And I'm like, well, I might as well just stream some Dead Cells. And then like five hours go by. And I'm like, damn it. I got caught into the traffic again. <laughs> you just get these good runs. And they're just like, so like the first run I had when the first full game came out, I made it all the way to the end. And I was like, yeah, still got it. That's, I mean, the boss killed me, destroyed my face, yeah, but it made it to the end. That's awesome. How, how long does it take? Because I'm nowhere near that. You know, I've just got past one yeah. of the first boss fights. How long does it take to get to the end? How many? Uh, it, it depends. Like if you're if you're speeding through, you can get through in about 25 minutes. Oh wow! Probably 25, 30 minutes if you're just racing through. But so I like to you, make sure I'm not missing any power ups. Yeah. So you don't have to kill seconds. everybody. You can just go through the things and and. Yeah. I, I mean, if you're not in it for this, obviously the. When I was playing the end of the early access stuff, it was to the point where I didn't need any more cells because I didn't have anything else to unlock. Yeah. And I, I was just like, all right, let's just breeze through. And then once you beat the boss the first time, you get a boss cell, which makes the game exponentially harder. Oh. So when you beat him again, you get the second boss cell, which makes the game even harder. Like, you beat the first boss cell, it takes away half of your potions so you or the potion fill-ups at the end of the levels. So you can only use them every other level. And then the bosses get harder, and they put harder bo- or they put harder enemies in the earlier levels and then i you can get up to four boss cells in the early access so i got up to the four boss cells which just i mean it puts like the hardest enemies in the very first level and you're just going that's but awesome. your but your weapons start off so much more powerful and you know you're getting like 25 30 brutalities or tactics by the end of the session you're just like god my dude is like doing 1800 damage or like 18,000 damage with these swipes of this sword and just killing things you just feel so powerful and then you get screwed because you didn't see the spiky ball thing and you cursed yourself and it's like damn it there's been some rage moments on the stream for sure (laughs) when uh, i want to talk about this early access thing okay um was there a community that was building up like you uh, were you all uh, because you've been on it almost from the beginning were you all just like believers and did you because i don't do much early access I, i usually wait till the game is done and then i review it I don't do too much interaction with the early access community. Okay. I was just I was just enthralled in the game, and then I would branch out and sort of see what other people were saying. If there were issues that I'm like, is this something that's happening with somebody else? Like, what's happening here? What's going on here? So I didn't really have too much interaction, but it was an it was great to see the progression of a game from because it started off in beta and then it went to alpha, which is totally backwards. Yeah. Um, and then it came out. Uh, but just to see how the game was when it first came out and what it is now, it's like it is a completely different game. And they've taken notes of what, you know, things were kind of like, this doesn't really work too well. This isn't as cool as it could be. Or this is like the whip was like the most overpowered thing when the game first came out. Yeah. If you could just power up your electric whip, it was game. It was just like because it's it shoots anywhere. So it has like all the access to hit anything that's coming above and around you. Yeah. Um, but now it's just like, all right, let's kind of simmer down a little bit. They sort of tamed down the electricity on the whip. It's like, nah, you're not going to be that powerful, even if it's super powered up. D- did you give uh, the team what's well, Motion Twin that's that's developing this thing? Did you give those yeah. guys any of your feedback? Did you reach out uh, to them? No, j- just on the Twitters. Oh, uh, just on the Twitters. And, and it was mostly, I love your game. Ah, uh, yes. I love your game. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing? I'm playing more of your game. <laughs> 200 hours in, I'm still playing your game. So Ooh, be, it's coming out again. I'm be, gonna play more hours. So you, you you're a, are you a believer then of early access games? Like does does like this make it, you feel like you want to give early access stuff a, a go a little bit more? I mean, it it kind of does when you see a, enough of a change in a game. Mm. Like being able to play through all the changes and it was like, oh, here's the baguette update and here's this update. And you're like, what the hell is this? And this is just like uh, they added a new language update. You're like, damn it, I'm screwed. I thought they were going to change something else. Uh, but seeing how much it changed, like if a game comes out early access and it's like two months before the game's supposed to come out. Yeah. And I, I know not much is going to change in the game. Right, in the right, two months. right. But I've been playing this game for over a year and it's great to see that it's getting the praise. I feel like it deserves the praise. I've been shouting from mountaintops. Everybody play this game. 
like if my stream was as crazy as some of the other streamers that I watch, I'm I'm, I'm sure a lot of more people would have gotten to take notice of how awesome the game is. But I'm glad it's finally getting the recognition that it's fair. well, and now it's getting recognition because of that IGN guy that uh, ripped ah. off ripped off the review as ah. well, which is that I think yeah, and that's like an underline of uh, no bad press is is bad press, you know, like or, yeah. you're, you're you know all hype is is. I mean, uh, is I, worth I would it. just like to say everyone who's written a good review about Dead Cells has plagiarized me. Because I've been saying it's been great for a year. <laughs> Welcome to the team, people just now joining the party. Jose Sanchez once said in a stream, this is the best freaking game amazing. It's possible. Uh, nobody can beat a game like this. Shots fired by Jose Sanchez today. <laughs> Shots fired. Uh, Every game review that said anything positive about this game, copy me. Hey, I've been saying it for a year. <laughs> Check the streams. Check the stream log. <laughs> the Our, backlog of streams. Okay. All right. Well, uh, unbelievable that that guy uh, plagiarized this game, and then there's all kinds of uh, news about him doing it over and over again with other games. So he's, he, he, he got what he deserved, and I don't think he's going to be working in the game industry again, ever. Uh, but uh, let's talk a little bit about some tips and some, uh, some tactics that you have picked up. Okay. Because you're tactics. a pro now. You could write the strategy guide for uh, Dead Cells. Yeah. What, what do you have to do to be good at Dead Cells? Well, Asking funny. for a friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's funny you said tactics. Because when I first started playing the game, I would boost brutality mm -hmm. only. Yeah. Uh, but now I'm heavily tactic focused. You need that range, like, right? You need to keep everybody it's, it's, away from it. It's you. the range, but I feel like a, a lot of the, the secondary weapons uh, take full advantage of the more of a tactic boost. Mm. Like the, if you're using grenades, that's cool. But I'm like, and especially if you're just starting to play the game, the best thing you can do is not unlock everything. Okay. Like you can come across the blueprints, hoard the, the blueprints, get everything to like one cell left, whatever. Don't unlock it. Stick with what you start off with yeah. get, and get used to it because then that'll be the only thing that you unlock major, um, a majority of the time throughout the game. So don't unlock the broadsword. Don't spend the cells on that. But, yeah. if it's spend the that cells on like stuff that'll keep you alive. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So fo focus on like if you can beat the first boss and you collect enough cells, after you beat the boss, you can upgrade to where a majority of the weapons that you start with have the plus value already. Yeah. And that takes a thousand cells, and then if you have thirty five hundred cells, it's you can get fifty percent of the items have plus plus attributes to it. But you get better weapons if you hoard the cells towards the once you get to that comfort zone of where you can beat the first boss uh, easily enough. So that's what I'm saying. Hoard your tactics. Get your if you can find the crusher early on with the bear trap or the wolf trap. It used to be a bear trap. They made it a wolf trap. Yeah. And then the wolf trap holds them in the crusher, crushes them. With your high enough tactics, it just takes out like 1,200, 1,300 damage early on. What was, uh, I know there's, there's lots of incredible weapons in here, but what was one that just took your breath away when you got it? Hmm. Oh, man, it's tough. I mean, again, like the electric whip at first was my goat. If I can get the electric whip and the rapier, yeah. it's like, which the, the rapier, it was, I loved it because every t it gave you crit damage every time you rolled, and it didn't matter how much you rolled. You can just do a quick roll and then a stab. And you'd do crit damage all the time. So that's why I would boost brutality because that's that had a brutality attribute to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I'm all about like my my arrows, like any my arrow that does close up damage, like shoot you in your face, gun, <laughs> and, ice, and ice blast. If I hit you with my ice blast and then you get the ice blast does the best uh, like uh, boost damage. So if you boost an item and if it does like, oh, it'll do a, it always does 100 percent fire damage bonus if it does fire bo bonus damage. But it's 175 percent damage if the enemies are frozen. Uh, this so con you, this conversation is making me, th you know, like calling me the back. Game? No, it's, well, playing? I want to play the game, but it's making me think of like like a scene from the Goonies or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just two Rocky super road. super nerds talking about their their obsession. So, so Victor, so Victor, <laughs> which, which reminds you, is focus on tactics. Okay, focus simply on tactics. <laughs> Utilize your tactics at all times. Focus on your spears and your knives. <laughs> and you're beating damage. Yeah, I on, mean, it, it, that's, on, but that's the thing though. There's so many ways you can go well, about the game. Like, I mean, you've played it for 300 hours. You're you're clearly underlying that this is one of those games that you can never put down. What is yeah. it like to go to the Switch now and play it on the Switch? Is it, a, it does it feel different? Does it feel off? I know that they've had a little bit of uh, frame rate hiccup, but I think that's getting fixed yeah. in a patch. But does it feel like the same game? I mean, essentially, yes. It's just. Getting used to the the tiny buttons with my giant hands. Yeah, that, that's the only really big difference for me. Like watch I, I'm, watch I'm the bear playing. play the switch. 
Just like this. Just so much fun. <laughs> jump, jump. I, I pushed the wrong button. Jump. <laughs> but it feels like the same game, and and uh, yeah, they, they're... I mean, it's yeah, it's the same game except it's mobile. Like this again. Another thing I said, like this would have been perfect for the Vita. Yeah. Like it would have been another perfect game to have on the Vita. That. I'd rest it. Still, rest still in, try. It's still thriving. Rest in peace. Limited run. Limited run could work something out. Like put a game out on this. We're on the Vita. But. All right. Well, it's uh, it's getting a ten out of ten from you. It's getting a ten out of ten from me based on what I've played it. But I have not put three hundred hours into this game. Uh, I I am playing it obsessively though, and uh, I There's think so many different ra- the different routes you can take too. Like once you unlock the different power ups, you can unlock different. So it's not you're not just going the same way the whole time. You can be like what? There's another level. Yeah. There's a section over here I could go to, and then you get the walls, the spider ability, and you're like I can climb up walls, and it takes me to this level. What is happening? Oh, it's so incredible, much. and it's all procedurally. So every time you start it, it's <sighs> all mixed up and different. It's like you get sequels of your game. I Every time you boot it up, it's incredible. What an achievement. And I just talked about in the rundown today how Bloodstain's been delayed. And I'm sure yeah. it's like they're looking at this going, holy shit, this is amazing. How do we can even come close to the something like this? Incredible game. Foobs, I couldn't think of anybody else I wanted to get on the show to talk about Dead Cells. Uh, it wasn't really meant to be a review because I'm not ready to review it yet. Ten. Really? Ten. But Jose Ten. sure is. Ten. Uh, so get it for whatever platform. It's great on the Switch, but it's out for all of the machines now, and it's absolutely breathtaking, wonderful game, uh, and a wonderful human you are, my friend. Thank you so much for joining us today, okay? Thanks, buddy. We'll see you very soon? Uh, yeah, hope so. Okay. All right. All right. Love you, pal. See you soon, buddy.